class. My name is Carl. Uh, your teacher, Ms. Shryrock, has asked me to talk about my snakes. Uh, these are red tail boa constrictors. This one here, his name is Cruz. I just got him out of his cage, so he is pretty active right now. He is uh, approximately three and a half to four years old. He's about five feet long now. Uh, the reason that we call him Cruz is if we can get him to look at the camera. He has a cross on the top of his head. And the Spanish word for cross is Cruz. So that is why we call him Cruz. Uh, he will get approximately 8 to 10 feet long. He will get uh, roughly about this big around. So he will become much, much larger than what he is now. Uh, he eats a rat once a week. And if we want to get a picture of the size of rat that he eats, and we can do that in just a little bit. All right, we're going to talk just a little bit uh, about the way that he is marked on his body. Uh, originally, I said that he's a red tail boa, and how they get that name is from the last couple feet of their body. He has kind of got an orangish, reddish color. He is more of an orangey color than a red, which is pretty common in these snakes. Uh, the other snake, which is Balboa, he is not quite as colorful as Cruz, so he's going to stay pretty much the way that he is. Uh, their markings kind of do, do a couple different things. Uh, first and foremost is to camouflage them while they're in the wild, so it kind of helps them blend in. And they are a tree-dwelling snake. So they will primarily hang out in the trees and uh, just kind of hide from any of their, uh, anything that kind of hunts them, which is uh, few and far between. Mostly uh, some of the bigger birds when they're younger uh, is primarily what, uh, what will look for them. <clears throat> they uh, also shed their skin, which I know that all of you have seen the snake skin. Uh, that is actually uh, from Balboa, the other snake. Uh, they will shed approximately once every six to eight weeks, kind of depending on how often they are fed. Uh, the more you feed them, the faster they grow, so they do shed more often. If you only feed them like once a month, which you can, they, uh, they won't shed but every three to four months. They, uh, the temperature of the cage, their natural habitat uh, will range anywhere from about 80 to 100 degrees, uh, with the temperatures falling down in the evenings right around 70 degrees. So his habitat that I have made for him, uh, we keep it about 85 degrees during the day. The light comes on, it heats up, just like the sun coming out. And then once the light goes off, it's on a timer. Uh, once the light goes off, it'll drop down to what the room temperature is, and that's usually between 70 to 75 degrees. Uh, we keep, uh, if you want to look at his habitat, his side here has his rock and he has his limb. Uh, he does crawl on the limb quite often, and then he basks. The rock will get just as warm as the sun shining on it, like out in uh, the sunshine. It will get warm, so he spends a lot of his time on a rock. 
We also keep a tub of water, fresh water for him at all times. And basically this asks, <coughs> acts as two purposes. Uh, first is his drinking water, and then he will also just take a bath in the water. It will help them shed their skin also when they're getting ready to shed. We are looking at Balboa. Uh, he is actually my daughter's snake. He is just a little over three years old. He's not got quite the growth pattern that Cruz has. He's a little bit smaller of a snake, <clears throat> a little bit younger. And as you'll notice, the end of his tail there on the left-hand side is more of a darker brown, just with a little bit of orange. So he's got just a little bit of a different color. Uh, just a little darker, not quite as colorful as Cruz. He's basking in his water. Uh, I would say that he was probably getting ready to shed here in the next week or so. Uh, his eyes will get really milky. It will become very hard for him to see. So at that point in time, we won't feed him. We'll let him shed his skin. And like I said before, he's, uh, he's the one that you've got to see the, the snake skin of in your classroom. Uh, we're not going to get him out because he is soaking in the water. Uh, he knows best when he's wanting to do that, so we're just going to let him sit there. And he's also got his rock. Uh, he doesn't have a limb because we had to divide this cage in two. It just used to be his, but since he's got a companion now, we've got to keep them separated or they would end up possibly uh, killing each other or hurting each other. And as you can see on the thermometer down there, it is 85 degrees. And that's just about where we want to keep him during the day uh, for about 12 to 14 hours. And then the lights will go off and he will drop down to about 70. All right, this is the snake skin. Uh, he did come off Balboa, which he is still in his water. This is probably about six months, maybe eight months old, so he's grown considerably from what this is. Uh, they do the, the skin shrinks up considerably once it comes off. Uh, it dries up to what it is now, so the snake skin is not near the size of what the snake is. Uh, if you really were careful and pull this completely apart, it would uh, roughly be about the same size as what Balboa was about six months ago, but this is considerably smaller. Uh, feels kind of like paper. Uh, you guys will probably be able to touch this and feel this. Uh, just be very careful with it. And uh, it's very delicate. And uh, like I said, it's uh, about six months old now.